space is full of incredible wonders that we are only beginning to understand. From distant galaxies to mysterious objects, the universe is full of strange phenomena, some of which might seem straight out of science fiction. Today, we are exploring the strangest things out there, things that defy our understanding and challenge our imagination. From dark matter to wormholes, get ready for a mind-bending journey through space's most fascinating and mysterious objects. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that scientists believe makes up around 85% of the matter in the universe. It is called dark matter because it cannot be seen or detected directly. It does not absorb, reflect or emit light or any other form of electromagnetic radiation, which makes it very difficult to study. Dark matter is different than ordinary matter that we can see and detect. This is because it does not interact with light or any other form of electromagnetic radiation. It is not made up of atoms, and researchers have yet to determine what it is made of. Despite these challenges, scientists still have some ideas about the nature of dark matter. Some researchers believe that dark matter is composed of exotic particles that interact very weakly with ordinary matter. Others hypothesize that dark matter is made up of more massive variants of neutrinos. However, the truth is that at this time, nobody knows for sure what dark matter is made of, and unlocking this mystery is one of the most significant challenges facing cosmologists today. Although dark matter cannot be seen or detected directly, scientists have been able to observe its gravitational effects on visible matter. They have observed that the gravitational pull of galaxies is much stronger than expected based on the amount of visible matter in the galaxies. In other words, there is not enough visible matter to explain the observed gravitational pull. This discrepancy can only be explained by the presence of dark matter, which has a gravitational effect on visible matter. Dark matter is also responsible for the observed gravitational lensing effect. When light from a distant object passes through a galaxy cluster, its path is bent due to the gravitational force of the cluster. The amount of bending that occurs is greater than can be explained by visible matter alone. Once again, this effect can only be explained by the presence of dark matter. There are also several other pieces of evidence that support the existence of dark matter, including the cosmic microwave background radiation, the large-scale structure of the universe and the distribution of elements. All these pieces of evidence tell us that dark matter is out there, but despite our best efforts, we are still uncertain about its true nature. Scientists are continuing their search for dark matter, using a variety of tools and techniques. One approach involves the use of particle accelerators. These accelerators create high-energy collisions that can create exotic particles, which researchers hope will have properties similar to dark matter. Another strategy involves the use of underground detectors. These detectors are designed to look for signs of dark matter particles passing through the Earth. Although there have been some promising results from these experiments, no definitive evidence for dark matter has been found yet. One other possibility is that dark matter could be detected indirectly by observing other reactions or particles that are consistent with theoretical predictions for how dark matter might behave. There is also hope that upcoming space missions, like the European Space Agency's Euclid mission, will provide more insight into the nature of dark matter. With persistent efforts and innovative ideas, we hope to uncover more about the mysteries of dark matter and its role in the universe. Wormholes are theoretical tunnels that bend and warp the fabric of space-time. They were first mathematically predicted by Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. Imagine space as a two-dimensional sheet, and an object with mass as a bowling ball. The ball creates a depression in the sheet, which causes other objects on the sheet to roll down towards it. Wormholes are like two places on this sheet that are really, really deep, and if you were somehow able to dig a hole between them, you could theoretically travel instantly between the two points. Wormholes might exist in nature, but we have no direct evidence to support this claim yet. Some scientists believe that wormholes could have formed in the early universe or that they could exist around black holes, but until we can observe them, they remain a fascinating subject of speculation and theory. Although we haven't yet detected a wormhole, there are various mathematical models and theories that support their existence. Some of these theories suggest that these tunnels are a natural outcome of the laws of physics, 
while others suggest that they might be artificially constructed or manipulated. One such theory postulates that microscopic wormholes exist all around us at every moment but are unstable and quickly collapse. Another theory proposes that wormholes could be more stable and would remain open long enough for something to pass through them. The most likely scenario for a stable wormhole is that it would require some kind of exotic matter with negative energy or negative mass to keep it open, but this type of matter has never been observed. Even though we haven't found evidence of a wormhole yet, scientists are still searching and working to develop new ways to look for them, and new theories on how they could be formed in our universe. If stable wormholes could be found or created, the implications would be enormous. They could potentially be used for faster-than-light travel, allowing us to explore distant galaxies and even travel through time. However, there are some complications that make this difficult. For example, if a wormhole were to open up, it would likely be incredibly small and difficult to navigate. Additionally, any matter that passed through the wormhole would be subjected to extreme gravitational forces, which could potentially tear it apart. Another concern is that if two ends of a wormhole are in different time periods, it could create a temporal paradox, where an effect could occur before its cause. While these are significant obstacles, the possibility of wormholes and the potential they hold make it an exciting field of theoretical physics research that could eventually lead to technological breakthroughs that seem like science fiction today. A black hole is a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. The gravitational pull of a black hole is so strong because it is concentrated in a very small space. The boundary surrounding a black hole is called the event horizon. Anything that crosses the event horizon is consumed by the black hole's gravity and cannot escape. Black holes can form when massive stars die. Stars are held together by the force of gravity, which is countered by the energy generated through nuclear fusion at their core. When a star exhausts all of its fuel, it will ultimately collapse under the weight of its own gravity. This can lead to the formation of a black hole. There are three types of black holes, stellar black holes, intermediate black holes, and supermassive black holes. Stellar black holes are the most common type of black hole and are formed from the remains of a massive star that has run out of fuel. Intermediate black holes are believed to be formed from the merging of several stellar black holes. Supermassive black holes are located at the center of galaxies and are believed to be formed by the merging of several intermediate black holes. It is important to note that despite their name, black holes are not empty voids, but rather contain a large amount of matter that has been compressed to an incredibly small volume. The true nature of black holes is still being studied and understood by scientists, and they continue to pose some of the most intriguing and puzzling questions in astrophysics. The life cycle of a star is a long and complex process that involves a balance between the force of gravity and the pressure generated by nuclear fusion at the core of the star. Stars are born within massive clouds of gas and dust known as nebulae. Within these clouds, small pockets of gas will begin to collapse under the force of gravity, causing the temperature and pressure in the core of the gas to increase. Eventually, the temperature and pressure become high enough to start nuclear fusion, which produces the energy that allows the star to shine. This marks the birth of a star. Young stars, also known as protostars, continue to gather mass by drawing in matter from their surrounding disk. As they continue to grow, they enter a phase known as the main sequence. This is when the star is stable and is in a state of balance between the inward force of gravity and the outward pressure from nuclear fusion. The amount of time a star spends in this phase depends on its mass. The more massive the star, the shorter the time it spends in the main sequence. Once the fuel at the core of the star begins to run out, the star enters its final stages of its life cycle. Smaller stars like our Sun will eventually expand into a red giant before shedding their outer layers and forming a planetary nebula. What remains is a white dwarf, a dense object the size of the Earth but with the mass of the Sun. Larger stars, on the other hand, will undergo a more dramatic transformation. They will enter a phase known as a supernova, in which the star's core collapses under the weight of its own gravity, creating a massive explosion. What is left behind after the explosion is a neutron star or a black hole, depending on the mass of the star. The life cycle of stars is fundamental to the structure and evolution of the universe. 
Black holes are created through the process of stellar evolution. When a massive star runs out of fuel and stops producing energy through nuclear fusion, it undergoes a catastrophic event known as a gravitational collapse. This happens because once the star has used up all its fuel, there is no longer enough energy being produced to counteract the force of gravity, which causes the star to collapse inward under its own weight. As the star collapses, it will release a tremendous amount of energy in the form of light and radiation, which can be seen as a supernova. The outer layers of the star are blown away, and the core, which may be as massive as several suns, collapses inward. If the mass of the core is greater than three times the mass of the sun, the gravitational pull becomes so strong that nothing can escape it, not even light. This creates a black hole. Black holes are incredibly dense, with an enormous amount of mass packed into a very small space. They have a gravitational pull so strong that anything that gets too close is pulled in and consumed, including stars and other black holes. Black holes continue to be shrouded in mystery, and there is much that scientists still don't fully understand about them. However, studying black holes can provide valuable insights into the nature of gravity, the structure of the universe, and the fundamental laws of physics. Neutron stars are some of the densest objects we know about in the universe. They are so dense that a single teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh about 6 billion tons. To put that into perspective, if you imagine an object weighing 1 ton, that would be equivalent to 6 billion of those objects packed into a tiny space. Neutron stars are only about 20 kilometers in diameter but contain roughly 1.4 times the mass of the Sun. This means they are incredibly compact with a very strong gravitational field. The matter in neutron stars is so tightly packed that the atoms are crushed together, and the electrons and protons combine to form neutrons, hence the name neutron star. Due to their sheer mass and density, Neutron stars exert a powerful gravitational pull that can dramatically affect their surroundings. The formation of a neutron star occurs when a massive star runs out of fuel and is no longer able to produce the energy to counteract the gravitational force pulling it inward. Eventually, the star will collapse under its own weight as it is pulled together by gravity. This process compresses the core of the star until it becomes a ball of neutrons. The outer layers of the star are then blown off in a supernova explosion, leaving only the neutron core behind. The resulting neutron core then becomes a neutron star. The process is incredibly violent and intense, emitting incredible amounts of energy and radiation. The supernova explosion is so powerful that it can outshine entire galaxies, making it one of the most energetic events in the universe. There are many interesting characteristics of neutron stars that make them truly fascinating objects of study. One of these characteristics is known as neutron star cooling. As neutron stars age and release energy, they cool over time. This can take billions of years. But even at such low temperatures, neutron stars still emit high energy radiation, such as X-rays and gamma rays. Another characteristic of neutron stars is their magnetic fields. Neutron stars have incredibly strong magnetic fields, trillions of times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. Due to this strength, they can emit intense and focused beams of electromagnetic radiation called pulsars. Pulsars result from a neutron star's rotation which causes the emission of light beams in two opposite directions. Additionally, neutron stars may have strange quarks, which are particles that aren't normally found in a stable state. Scientists continue to study these unique objects in order to learn more about the universe. Exoplanets come in a wide variety of types. Some of the most common types include 1. Gas giants, also known as hot Jupiters. These exoplanets are gas giants similar in size to Jupiter, but unlike Jupiter, which takes 12 years to orbit the Sun, Hot Jupiters take just a few Earth days to complete a single orbit around their star. They are incredibly close to their star, which makes them extremely hot, with temperatures exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius. 2. Super-Earths Super-Earths are exoplanets that are larger than Earth, but smaller than the larger gas giants like Jupiter. They are believed to be rocky planets like Earth, but with stronger gravitational fields due to their larger size. 3. Mini-Neptunes Mini-Neptunes are similar in size to Neptune, 
but they are typically found closer to their star. Like gas giants, they are believed to be made mostly of hydrogen and helium, but unlike gas giants, they have solid surfaces. 4. Earth-like exoplanets These exoplanets are similar in size and composition to Earth. They are considered to be the most likely to harbor some form of life, and they are the primary targets of the search for extraterrestrial life. Exoplanets are incredibly difficult to detect because they're so far away. Here are a few ways astronomers have detected exoplanets. 1. Radial Velocity Method The radial velocity method detects exoplanets by measuring the gravitational wobble it produces in its parent star as it orbits. The presence of an exoplanet causes the star to move slightly towards and away from Earth. These movements can be measured by observing the star's spectrum for radial velocity shifts. 2. Transit method The transit method detects exoplanets by observing the slight dimming of light when the planet crosses in front of the star from our perspective. By measuring the drop in light intensity, astronomers can estimate the size of the exoplanet relative to its parent star. 3. Gravitational microlensing Gravitational microlensing occurs when the gravity of an exoplanet bends and magnifies the light from a more distant star. When this happens, astronomers can detect a brief brightening in the light of the more distant star. 4. Direct imaging Direct imaging allows astronomers to actually see the exoplanet by observing the light it reflects or emits. This method is very difficult since exoplanets are very faint compared to their parent star. There are many strange exoplanets out there that challenge our understanding of the universe. Here are a few examples. 1. Hot Saturn A hot Saturn is an exoplanet that has similar atmospheric properties to Saturn, but it's much closer to its star and therefore much hotter. It's an unusual mix of gas giant and hot Jupiter. 2. Diamond Planet The Diamond Planet is a hypothetical exoplanet that is believed to be composed largely of carbon. The high pressure and temperature of the planet's atmosphere are believed to cause carbon to crystallize into diamonds, making this an incredibly lucrative space find. 3. Superpuff planets Superpuff planets are exoplanets with extremely low densities. They have a mass similar to Neptune, but are over 10 times larger in size. Scientists believe that the exoplanets are not ice giants, but rather have a low-density atmosphere of hydrogen and helium gas that is puffed up by the intense radiation from their host star. 4. Rogue planets Rogue planets are exoplanets that do not have a parent star. They are believed to be ejected from their home solar systems due to gravitational slingshots caused by interactions with other planets. They wander aimlessly through space and may be difficult to detect, but they offer insight into the diversity of the planets around us. We hope you enjoyed our journey through some of the strangest things in space. These objects remind us of the vastness and complexity of the universe and the many mysteries that are still waiting to be discovered. While some of what we discussed might seem impossible or unbelievable, it's important to remember that science is all about pushing the boundaries of what we know and exploring new ideas. Who knows what incredible discoveries await us in the future?